is this the Floyd Mayweather of Muay Thai? Many people regard this man as the most technical striking genius of all time. You know, I'd like to say, you know, the best ever. In Muay Thai and kickboxing history, this man was forever cemented as a legend. His skills were so next level that he had a win rate of 91% out of 126 fights. He didn't just fight anyone either. This fighter destroyed the monsters of his time with perfect technique. Evasive fighters like this legend aren't just admired, they are feared by all. No one enjoys being humiliated and missing every shot while seeing the ceiling is absolutely humiliating. They've mastered a principle at the very core of combat sports, the art of hitting without being hit. Now how does he do this exactly? And why is he the GOAT with tragically so few people knowing him today? Interestingly, he doesn't even care about fame. Unlike Floyd Mayweather, this fighter never actually pursued greatness or fame. He reached the pinnacle of martial arts simply by having fun, earning the respect of anyone who watched his fights. I never dreamed I want to beat him. I just want to have a fun. I don't think, oh, one day I want to beat him. I don't ever think like that. I want people respect too. Respect my name too. Even though no one knows him today, respect from real fight fans was exactly what he received. It, uh, you are a legend? Yeah. So, who is he exactly? The name of this striking genius is Danny Bill. To understand his brilliance, you would only need to look at a few fights of his to see how flawless and beautiful his timing and technique was. I mean, just look at this next level defense on a spinning elbow thrown by another Muay Thai legend. If we didn't see him pull it off, we would think these types of moves are straight out of a superhero movie. With genius level fight IQ, Danny went undefeated as a world champion for 7 consecutive years. He didn't just fight anyone either, he fought the best of Muay Thai and kickboxing during the golden era of striking. That means he's the best of the best, the creme de la creme. As a master of pattern reading, once this legend finds a weakness, he is relentless with his technical storm. While most fighters resort to brute force when they find a weakness, Danny Bill is pure finesse. You see, to understand why Danny Bill is such a legendary technician, we first need to understand his counterpart, Ramon Deckers. Now everybody knows Ramon Deckers as the most ferocious fighter in Muay Thai history. To most Europeans and North Americans, he is considered the greatest fighter of all time. This isn't because he had the best record, he certainly didn't. It was Ramon Deckers' brutal and relentless striking against the very best of his time that inspired the world. Fighting with all his heart cemented Ramon's status as one of the biggest icons in combat sports. In fact, Mike Tyson says Ramon Deckers is his favourite fighter. So ferocious. Ooh, like, mean universally mama. loved amongst Ooh. kickboxers. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Savage. Fighter. Botch. Yeah, that's my favorite right here. Fighting with all his heart, it didn't matter if Ramon won or lost the fight. By doing so, this savage captured the hearts of fight fans around the world and inspired the next generation to enter combat sports. You see, Ramon's fights perfectly represented what's known as the Dutch style. Rarely ever backing down, he would wait for the right moments to swarm the opponent and end the fight. It didn't matter if he got hit with the opponent's best shots, he had ultimate FU power. With it, he would fire right back. Every shot is thrown with 100% power. It hurts you at all yeah. time. Everything's to hurt you. Yeah. Nothing's soft. Everything's hard. He and with this style, he defeated many monsters of his time. This was previously deemed impossible until Deckers came along. Beating the ties in their very own sport and in their very own country is an extreme accomplishment, recognized by real fight fans. Probably one of the most famous ever foreigners to fight in Thailand, one of the most successful in the lower weight classes especially. Yeah, he was a beast. Because he was the first white person to, to beat the ties, he was such a role model. To, to be that guy that, that went to Thailand and beat the ties at the marine sport, it's um, yeah something that I, I look up to him even though he's passed, I still, um, yeah, he's yeah, still my hero. Now why are we talking about Ramon Deckers when it's a video about Danny Bill? 
As we mentioned before, this technical genius right here was his counterpart. If Ramon Deckers embodied the starlings of Mike Tyson, capturing the hearts of fight fans through his brutal aggression, then Danny Bill was the Floyd Mayweather of Muay Thai, capturing the hearts of fight fans with his beautiful technique. As a technician, Danny Bill was absolutely second to none. Sometimes he would barely get touched in a fight. While Deckers carved the niche with his Dutch style, prioritizing heavy punches to knock out Muay Thai fighters, Danny Bill took a different approach. Immersing himself in authentic Muay Thai, Danny mastered artistic techniques and beat the ties with their very own style. No one before him has been able to do this, and only recently are foreign fighters able to do this now. When we discuss the GOAT technicians of Muay Thai, legendary fighters such as Sanchai, Somrak, and Lerdzilla will always be mentioned. It shouldn't surprise anyone then that they are all training partners of Danny Bill. After all, as the saying goes, iron sharpens iron. In a room full of top tier technicians, each one contributes to elevating the other's game. This is why the legendary Jockey Gym was the number one Muay Thai gym in Thailand. With so many generational talents, they produced the greatest technicians of all time during the height of Muay Thai. While the golden era of Muay Thai had so many electrifying fighters, there were certain characteristics that made Danny stand out. In order to understand what made him such a genius, we have to first break down his style and see how he made it all possible. Here's a summary of what's to come in this video. Pillar 1 – Unstoppable Evasions Everyone knows Ludzilla as the most untouchable fighter. However, even Ludzilla was not able to do some of the things we saw from Danny Bill. Yes, they both had impeccable timing, but Danny made his opponents look foolish by hitting reversals so often. And just like Ludzilla was able to slip a barrage of punches, Danny was able to slip and duck under punches while looking like an absolute badass. Pillar 2 – Unstoppable Sweeps Danny can make even some of the hardest techniques look so easy. Sweeps in Muay Thai are very difficult to pull off. They require precise timing, and the ones that Danny pulls off require next level skill and extreme fight IQ. With impeccable timing, Danny perfectly executes sweeps that sends his opponents flying into the air. Even if they knew it's one of his main weapons, it didn't matter. Once they charge in to attack, they are going to see the sky and then end up on the floor. Pillar 3 – Unpredictable Switch Hitting Rarely are fighters able to switch their stance so effectively. However, Danny is able to switch into both stances. This allows him to be unpredictable and he is just as effective with either stance. There is perhaps no one better to study for switch hitting and striking. Pillar 4 – Grandmaster of Baiting Danny was also a grandmaster of baiting the opponents in. Every master of this kind loves fighting aggressive opponents that come forward. Danny would invite them in to counter them beautifully with sweeps and counters. Truly a legendary master of baiting the opponents in. Pillar 5 – Integration of Boxing with Muay Thai Muay Thai fighters are notorious for neglecting their boxing. However, this is not true for the great technicians such as Danny Bill. Jockey Jim and Danny Bill capitalized on this. By doing so, Danny had some of the slickest and most effective boxing in Muay Thai history. The threat of slick boxing combinations from both stances assisted all the legendary pillars. Pillar 6 – Untouchable Defense Regarded as the Floyd Mayweather of Muay Thai, Danny was a defensive genius. With his defense, even against some of the greatest of all time, he was able to shut down and nullify their legendary offense. With these six pillars, he was able to outclass the monsters of his time in beautiful style. And yet, somehow, no one knows him today. To change this, we are featuring his brilliance. Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Kenshin Striking Breakdowns. These are the six legendary pillars of the striking genius, the Floyd Mayweather of Muay Thai, the legendary Danny Bill. Before we jump right into the legendary pillars, 
it's important to understand the sacrifices made and hardships Danny went through to become this great. To pursue greatness, he left his comfort zone, willing to sacrifice everything. During the golden era of Muay Thai, becoming a truly artistic technician is only possible by going to Thailand. The art of Muay Thai was once a secret, only accessible to those who are willing to leave everything behind to learn it. Known for extremely difficult training and abundant fighting opportunities, Thailand was and still is the mecca of striking. Since Boakau and San Chai popularized it to the world, Thailand now welcomes in thousands of aspiring fighters every year. The art is now at the height of its popularity, but it wasn't always like this. I need not too many guys from Europe came to train before because of the Thai tradition. They don't understand why people from Europe came. They close the door, you can come in to train. They don't like teach you. I train, but they don't teach me Muay Thai. They don't care about you in the nineties. Only me and another guy. No European people before. Why you came here? Why? And I said, yeah, you know, I won't try it. They say, no, no, go play soccer, it's better. Different, very different. We must first acknowledge how difficult it was for Danny to do what he did. Now, without further ado, here are the six legendary pillars of the striking genius, Danny Bill. Pillar 1. Unstoppable Evasions Under the bright lights, we are oftentimes captivated by the most brutal and explosive attributes of combat sports. Yes, wild exchanges play a huge role and are appealing to casual fans. But for real fight fans, it's fighters who are always a step ahead that truly stand out. The chessboard is often brought up as an analogy for combat sports. For great technicians like Danny, the best analogy is that he is a grandmaster of human chess. Just like the most untouchable fighter, Ludzilla, Danny has also mastered Ultra Instinct. His ability to evade like no other made so many of his world class opponents look foolish. You see, evasive fighters like Danny have the power to control the pace and outcome of the fight lulling their opponents into their own game. Even the most composed fighters will eventually turn aggressive, and when they do, they fall deeper into the better technician's game. This adds an intense element of psychological dominance. After all, what's more frustrating than missing your strike for the entire fight? Some may say nut shots, but if you're into legendary pillars for nut shots, make sure to watch our Black Bruce Lee video. Anyways, getting scored by Danny Bill might be even more frustrating than Nutshots. You see, Danny often makes his opponents miss in order to land a perfect strike of his own. Many fighters can lean back to evade strikes, but Danny can go beyond that to create new angles on his opponent's strikes. This then helps him deliver spectacular counters that we rarely get to see. Not only can he land thunderous blows while being so slick, but he will even mock his opponent. This is definitely psychological warfare. Even against the most feared kickers, he'll lean back like it's nothing. Even more impressively, he will mercy the opponent by not pulling the trigger when he clearly could. It's as if he's toying with his opponent. But when Danny does pull the trigger, he'll deliver with real intent. Sometimes Danny's kick evasions are so ridiculous that he decides to lean forward. He's even been able to do this against tornado attacks. While being extremely evasive, Danny is able to capitalize on his ultra instinct. With it, he lands incredible sweeps and trips while dodging whatever is thrown at him. But more on this later. The elements needed for unstoppable evasions is understanding the fundamentals better than his opponents. He must be able to see all of his opponent's strikes coming, and the only way to do that is by understanding the initiating movements of a strike. Then, after incredible fundamentals are understood, one must spar as much as possible. At Jockey Gym, they sparred all day every day. This was the byproduct of not having much training equipment such as bags and pads. Instead, they sharpened their fight IQ by sparring with each other all the time, and this built the greatest evasive technicians of all time. Pillar 2 – Unstoppable Sweeps Danny Bill's sweeps are unstoppable. Even though everyone knew it was coming, he was able to floor many of the greatest fighters of all time. 
In fact, against one opponent, he was able to land a legendary counter to this technique. As Danny swept out the base leg of the opponent, he was able to jump and deliver his very own roundhouse. But Danny being the technical genius that he is, he was able to block it at the last second. Sweeps take technical mastery, not relying on brute force, but skill, precision and a deep mechanical understanding. By throwing your opponent onto the floor, only for them to pick themselves up off the canvas over and over is absolutely demoralizing. True masters of the sweeping craft is mesmerizing to watch. After all, they make the hard things look easy. So how exactly was he able to sweep some of the most feared and technical fighters of all time? The sweeping geniuses love to fight aggressive fighters. For example, the punching and knee specialists rely heavily on forward pressure and heavy strikes. This forces them to have a heavy lead leg during the entry. This makes their leg vulnerable to be swept. Fighters who rely heavily on forward pressure and power strikes will often be weaker in their defense. By having a heavy lead leg and continuously being scored upon, the opponent becomes further frustrated. This makes the sweep much easier. You see, when an opponent is focused on offense, their defense suffers. This is why it's inherently better to be a counter striker. When chasing aggressively with strikes, a fighter leaves themselves exposed to be countered. Now we know it's easier to sweep the aggressive fighters, but how does he pull it off against other technicians? Against more other counter fighters, Danny is able to bait them into his favorite sweeps. He will bait them into counter attack by leading first. Then once they counter attack with the move he was expecting, he counters them with his favorite sweeps. This is called countering the counter. Another showcase of how ridiculous Danny was with his sweeps was this moment right here. Even when his opponent catches Danny's kick to off-balance him, Danny is still able to floor his opponent as they're attacking. Moments like this certainly make Danny one of the greatest sweepers of all time. Danny is so effective with his kicks that he only needs a low kick to set up a sweep. Once the low kicks are established as a threat, even the smallest feints can cause them to raise their leg to check. This is when Danny blisses in and steps deep. He will go underneath the check and sweep out the base leg of the opponent. And if his opponent has good balance, he'll hunt them until he finally lands it. In the clinch, his sweeps were just as impressive. He'll wait for the perfect timing to land these ultra smooth sweeps. In the clinch, Danny waits for the opponent's knee. Once they're on one leg, all the weight shifts onto the base leg, which he will attack. By attacking the inside or outside of the leg, with a scooping kicking motion, he'll successfully take his opponent's legs out from under them almost every time. As you can see, if Danny gets a hold of his opponents in the clinch, there's a good chance they'll go flying. This proves that no matter where the opponent is in the ring, they are not safe from Danny's impeccable sweeping game. Killer 3 – Unpredictable Switch Hitting it is rare for a fighter to effectively switch their stance remaining just as dominant in either one. Many coaches and fighters believe that it's more effective to focus on mastering one stance, rather than dividing the time and effort between multiple stances. But the ones who master both stances will often be extremely hard to fight against. This is because there's incredible advantages that switch hitting offers, with the greatest being its unpredictability. There is perhaps no one in Muay Thai to better study switch hitting than Danny Bill. You see, switch hitting has played a big part throughout boxing and MMA history. All jockey gym fighters in fact train both stances even if they didn't fight in it. Pipa, the head coach of jockey gym, said that all of his fighters needed to train both stances, and they needed to box too, which we'll get to later. So what makes switch hitters like Danny so successful? Now let's take a look at how he did it. By switching from orthodox to southpaw, and vice versa, you are constantly disrupting the rhythm of the fight. All of tactical fighting is based on setting rhythm and then breaking that rhythm. This is the art of pattern setting and then pattern breaking. When a fighter is able to switch hit with excellence, every stance switch creates new angles and opportunities. If a moment of stance switching goes undetected, you can surprise the opponent with very clean blows. Throughout this fight, Danny was able to dominate with his orthodox boxing combinations, putting his opponent down four times. 
By constantly switching from orthodox to southpaw, Danny could threaten the roundhouses in the open stance and dominate boxing exchanges in orthodox. This means that Danny switches his stances and weapons according to an opponent's weaknesses. In this particular sequence, notice how Danny landed multiple knees and left kicks which dazed his opponent. Then, Danny would switch from southpaw to orthodox as he closed the distance firing an unpredictable jab and overhand, sending the opponent into the floor. So as we can see, stance switching plays a vital role in Danny's offense. But what about his defense? Normally in high level striking, fighters are coached to blast the stance switch. This means they're usually defensively weaker when switching. But being a master of defense from both stances, Danny actually uses the defensive switches to create new angles and opportunities. The switching forces the opponent to constantly recalibrate what attack to choose and what they need to defend, which scrambles their mind. By confusing the opponent, they are now playing Danny's game. In the next pillar, we'll explore how Danny can masterfully bait his opponents to masterfully blast them into the air with sweeps. Pillar 4 Grandmaster of Baiting What exactly is masterfully baiting an opponent? The best introduction to this art is Samad Payakarun, widely known as the greatest fighter of all time. The art of baiting, a unique strategy that only the best technicians can pull off. By deliberately presenting opportunities to an opponent, a technician anticipates how the opponent will react. This predictive ability allows for epic counters, as seen in the example of Samad Payakarun. As you can see, baiting an opponent in is something Danny had capitalised on throughout his career as well. By exploiting the opponent's aggression by first throwing a calculated attack, Danny forces his opponents to commit. Once they commit to a strike, Danny is able to land his signature sweeps. Against Nong Moon, Danny maintained pressure with heavy kicks and slip boxing while his opponent was trapped on the ropes. After landing some heavy shots, Danny would back off, enticing his charged up opponent forward in order to land his legendary sweep as Nong Moon was baited into the kick. In another sequence, Danny was able to bait the roundhouse simply by throwing one. In Muay Thai, a single roundhouse can trigger a whole kicking exchange, due to it being a high scoring technique. By switching to southpaw to throw the roundhouse, Danny invites a roundhouse in return. But in the last second, Danny is able to evade the kick and fire a simultaneous sweep to take out the base leg of the opponent. Danny showcased this epic technique multiple times against many legends, and it's something we rarely see today. And like we mentioned before, there is nothing more demoralizing than picking yourself up off the canvas over and over again. All these sweeps lead to another higher form of baiting. We call this emotional baiting. As the opponent becomes agitated from being swept, as well as being hit, Danny would use their anger against them. Danny was able to do this by moving backwards and positioning himself on the ropes. This lets his opponent gain momentum by walking him down, giving him a false sense of confidence. As you can see here, Danny bases his opponent forward after a clinch disengagement. By dropping his guard and backing off, this encourages his opponents to walk forward and initiate the clinch again. As the opponent enters range, Danny's lead foot steps out, levering around the opponent's head to throw a beautiful sweeping low kick. At the highest level in combat sports, baiting and countering is considered the most sophisticated strategies. But you wouldn't think so by watching this man. He makes it look so effortless. Pillar 5 – Integration of Boxing with Muay Thai It's impossible to talk about Danny Bill without highlighting that he had some of the slickest boxing in Muay Thai history. Boxing and Muay Thai may seem incompatible to some, but the sweet science's influence on the art of 8 limbs is profound. The technicians who integrate boxing into Muay Thai achieve a rhythm that is next level. Fighters like Sakat, Samad Payakarun, Sanchai, Somrak, and Ludzilla are all examples of this. Jockey Jim's head trainer, Pipa, made sure nearly all of his fighters professionally fought in boxing. But this brilliant training methodology is ignored. Legends like Danny, however, show a perfect integration of boxing and Muay Thai. The advantages of this integration almost seems unfair. Think about it this way. If you're not afraid of the opponent's punches, but the opponent is afraid of yours, how much advantage does that present to you? If most fighters work on their boxing less, 
then this is a clear area where a fighter can gain an unfair advantage. This is showcased by Danny's effortless movement and evasion, rarely ever getting hit clean with punches. Despite being able to clinch and kick like any legendary Muay Thai fighter, he often looked like a boxing world champion in the ring. As you can see, boxing rhythm creates fluidity. This allows him to dictate the rhythm of a fight. All of this leads to control. Notice how often he makes his opponent shell up with feints. This allows him to follow up with combinations. Of course, Danny didn't just use his punches to win Muay Thai fights, as many Western fighters attempt to do. He would also integrate his punches with kicks and knees. By feinting with his slick punches, he forces a defensive action to score with beautiful roundhouses and knees. For example, here, as the opponent panic shells, they are not in position to defend a kick. A lot of the time, Danny can control the opponent with just his jab. As the most important punch in boxing, a controlling jab allows him to bring out his swagger. Just look at how confident he is in the ring as he uses his slick boxing. He is so confident in his boxing that he will stand in front of his opponent with his hands down and keep firing. The best part? There is absolutely nothing they can do about it. Another attribute that makes Danny's boxing so great is that he is able to pick shots off from both stances. Somehow, he is able to produce knockouts with his punches in both stances. Yes, just as we have covered, his switch hitting ability was off the charts. Going from southpaw to orthodox to deliver punches, this overwhelms the opponent with them not being able to do much except take the punishment. Being a striking genius, his punches are so powerful that when he misses a hook and sends himself flying, he still lands a flying nut knee. Despite these clear benefits, for some reason many Muay Thai fighters do not integrate boxing with Muay Thai. This is why fighters like Danny and other jockey gym fighters are so spectacular and unique. This brings us to our final pillar, Danny's unreal ability to defend unlike any other. Pillar 6, Untouchable Defense. As we reach the final pillar of what made Danny Bill's fighting style so unique, we dive into Danny's strongest pillar. In combat sports, the benefit of having a strong defense cannot be overstated. After all, for technicians, fighting is the art of hitting and not getting hit. Most fighters are in fact in the art of getting hit and hitting back. This is an inherent attribute in a style that relies on aggression to chase a knockout. While this is very exciting and leads to knockouts, we believe that untouchable defense is what enables slick offense, producing highlight reels that resemble art rather than brute force. It's impressive because more than swinging for the fences, effortlessly defending all shots requires more skill. Fighting at the highest level without being hurt is a testament to a fighter's intelligence. It's for this reason that the highest IQ fighters always have the attribute of untouchable defense. Danny showcased these qualities throughout his career, and by doing so, we can see why fight fans say that he is the Floyd Mayweather of Muay Thai. In the art of defense, evasions is the hardest to achieve. So, as we have discussed in Pillar 1, a true defensive legend can only evade effectively if they have also mastered blocking and parrying. Evasions are chosen as the main defensive route when blocks and parries are no longer needed. Because Danny could read all of his opponent's strikes, he can easily position so that his opponent's strikes miss. But when he needs to use the guard to shut down punches, he has demonstrated mastery there too. Particularly noteworthy is his long guard as well as the Dracula guard. The long guard, a classic Muay Thai defensive strategy, is accomplished by extending the lead arm. Boakao made this technique famous in K1. This maintains distance with the lead arm, while the rear hand protects the side of the head against the left hook. This guard effectively deflects shots and permits the defender to easily kick, elbow or knee right after. Similarly, the Dracula guard, with the rear hand reaching across the face, adds additional protection. This guard can defend against overhands and powerful crosses. Using this guard to maintain distance, Danny keeps vision on the opponent in order to counter back effectively. Even when the opponent's catches kick, he's still able to avoid the sweep with a jump. This is even more impressive considering it's not Wee Davy he's facing. Sometimes he goes into god mode, evading the sweep attempt and then sweeping his opponent. 
by framing the leg across the body while jumping to secure the lock around the head. This avoids any attempts to sweep. At the same time, Danny gains leverage and momentum in order to sweep the opponent. In the clinch, his redirection and throw is just as sick. Perhaps no one is as good at reversing sweep attempts to hissing his own sweep. But the sickest moment in his career must be the way he defended the spinning elbow right now. Backed up to the ropes with nowhere to go, they must go forward. The only time to do this is as the opponent spins. As soon as his opponent, Sakmon Khan, initiated the spin, Danny read the attack and initiated the long guard. This controls the range while protecting the head. It's counterintuitive, but by stepping into the spinning elbow, the long guard transitions into a headlock. Danny then spins with the opponent, reversing the position, and almost lands a high kick right after. Although Sakmon Khan missed the spin elbow, he did execute a move I've never seen before. In a later sequence, as Danny closes the distance, Sakmon Khan's hand swing, powering a high kick, slaps Danny on one side of his face, followed by the high kick landing on the other. There are no defensive sequences like this in the history of combat sports. It's a true testament to Danny's skills. All of this enables Danny's spectacular offense, which we can cover in the future. So there you have it. These are the six legendary pillars of Danny Bill, the striking genius. What did you find most impressive about him? For me, it's how he had so much fun in the ring while making it look so effortless. Above all else, he is a good person. I want to start something to help them to know, take the boat to go in Europe because I know a lot of people there. That's why I want to open a school. I take them to stay and learn something, um, do sport, uh, you know. That's why my foundation is about. Take care of the people. Don't think Europe is the best. Go to school, build the house, farming, learn something to do. I do my best for them too. Thank you for watching another episode of Lawrence Kenshin Striking Breakdowns. The best way you can support us is by watching another episode. If you have thoughts on the great Danny Bill, share with me in the comments section. I want to understand your perspectives on this striking genius.